himself and the acclaim. Think about the history between Swerve and Darby. Can they possibly? What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. It woke up to after news to like. Let's talk about Darby Allen, man. Darby Allen returns, man. So this is how this went. Jack Perry was beating up Brandon Cutler uh, backstage earlier tonight. And he asked for Darby Allen to come back, right? So he was putting the beats uh, to Brandon Cutler. And when he said Darby Allen, he wanted to see Darby Allen tonight. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Are they setting this up for a return for uh Darby Allen to come back tonight and join Team AEW because remember, we learned earlier tonight is definitely going to be Swerve Strickland as the leader of Team AEW with Mark Briscoe, and then they had Anthony Bowens and Max Caster join. Swerve Strickland approved of them being on the team, so we just had one more spot left. You know what I mean? Hangman got the last spot last week for the Elite, so for Team AEW, it will be Darby. Allen and how did we how did Darby Allen return? So we had a full on brawl back uh, um, after the match. It was supposed to be in, uh, the main event was supposed to be in Kazushka Okada, Swerve Strickland, and ended in uh, D DQ because we had some interference from the EVPs. And then um, we just had a full on brawl between Team AEW and the Elite. But there was one member missing, right? There was one member missing because Team AEW was down a guy. So in Steam fashion, it's Steam. <laughs> we get Darby Allen coming from the sky and reach for the sky, boy. <laughs> Ironically, we got Mark Briscoe in the match, right? So Allen repelled from the rafters, and Mark Briscoe was the one that unhooked them, and then we got the brawl going, man. So really, this was really supposed to be between Jack Perry and Darby Allen, so we really didn't get a chance to see enough right there. But I really wanted to see Darby Allen return with that flamethrower, bro. Like he did at Double or Nothing. Because that's the last time I believe we saw him. That flamethrower, man, that was crazy when he did that at Double or Nothing, man. Um, this is going to be an interesting situation. Darby Allen being in that Blood and Guts match next week in Nashville, man. It's going to be a lot of people in Nashville next week because he got that crypto conference. I think Donald Trump's supposed to be down there, too. So Nashville going to be busy. If you in Nashville... Downtown Nashville is going to be busy. Broadway Street is going to be busy next week, man. Um, but, yeah, man, so this was crazy, man. Like, I'm guessing what, like, Darby Allen is going to be doing some crazy stuff. I always, I'm trying to remember if he ever been in a Blood and Guts match before. It feels like he was in one of these, but I can't remember, bro. But, man, it's. The, the stuff that he's going to do in this match, bro, is going to be unbelievable, man. And we'll see if this this little beef between him and Jack Perry continues after next week. I'm pretty sure it is. It could also result in a match between those two. Um, they could run it back what they were doing at All In last year. And I think that's the reason why Jack Perry actually called him out um, from, from, from last year. So we'll see how that goes down at All In this year, man. Um, late August, man. Let's see what happens at Blood and Guts first. And give me y'all thoughts right away on Darby Allen's return, what y'all think. Uh, give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.